What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the video inside of text effect. Now there are a lot of different ways you can incorporate this method into your video. You might have seen this method used with a lot of different travel vloggers. They like to use this method whenever they want to show whenever they're going to a new location. They'll have the text and then inside of it they'll have the video. I really do like this method because it's a lot more different than just having the text over the like the video of where you're going. Now if you do use this method it will make you stand out a lot more than other creators because a lot of creators just like to put the text over the you know the video clip and then it's just kind of white text over that. To me that is kind of boring to each his own you know but I'm gonna show you all this method so y'all can incorporate it into your content. One more thing to note is that I wouldn't just put the video with the text over it and leave it at that. I would add music so if you want to go ahead and watch the video on how I make my montages you can go ahead and watch the video on the corner and that'll you know help you out and show you how I cut on beat you know fade in music all the good stuff so go ahead and watch that video and then you'll learn how I make my montages and you can use this method and incorporate it with that method and boom you'll have a nice beautiful montage. Okay so I'm not gonna use music for this example but the first thing you want to do is drag your video clip. I went ahead and put in and out point already so I'm just gonna drag it down but you want to put it on your second layer now I know you're not used to putting video clips on your second layer right away unless you're like editing some specific type of project that you need to do that but it's gonna be very important and I'll show you all why in a bit next you want to go ahead and find a title you want I typically would just probably use text or basic text you want to drag that underneath your video clip now just go ahead and make sure that the title is lined up perfectly with the video file okay so we're just going to zoom in a little bit and i'm actually going to speed up this clip a little bit more because i know it is a little slow so i'm going to change it to let's say 110 so it just looks a lot better i'm going to go ahead and realign it this was shot in alaska like a year ago a year and a half ago so i'm going to go ahead and use this footage and i'm going to use the word alaska for the title so let's go ahead and disable that clip and then we can go back to the title page and then go ahead and you know delete that and i'm gonna write alaska now this is kind of small so what i'm gonna do is actually make the size as big as the frame right there now this font looks pretty nice but i'm just gonna go ahead and change it to this one because i like this one a little bit better and that's pretty much it you do with the text that's literally all you have to do now this method is a lot easier than y'all think so what you're going to do next is actually re-enable this clip you're like whoa the text isn't there because the video layer is stacked on top of the text layer you're not going to see the text so what you actually have to do is change the composite of the video if you scroll down on your inspector you're gonna go down to composite and you see that your composite mode is set to normal the opacity is gonna be at 100% and you want to leave it that way because if you lower it you're gonna see the text yes which is a kind of a cool effect if you want to do that but you can actually raise it back up to 100 change your composite mode from normal into darken and boom literally done that's all you got to do it's that easy and now when you play it out you're literally just gonna have the video moving in the background like normal of course it's slow because it's a drone clip but that is, that's all there is to it this clip this method is so easy in my opinion it's it's clean it's sleek it's great like I said before, I wouldn't leave it just like that. If you want to, you can add two clips on half of the frame and then have the text show it through that. There are a lot of different ways you could use this effect. Uh, this is just the basis of it and the rest is up to your creativity. I can't tell you what to do creatively, but that's up to you. Also, don't forget to add music. You don't want to have it just like that because that's kind of boring. Now, it is the one thing I'm going to tell you. But yeah, I hope this video helped out. If it did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that if you have any editing questions, doesn't matter what software it's in, I can learn it if I need to teach all it. If I want to learn it, I might already know it. So go ahead and just comment down whatever software, the like Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci are the three that I'd be comfortable working with. I wouldn't say CapCut because I, I mean, CapCut's cheating to me. I don't know. I feel like it's it better to use these NLEs than like other ones that are just, you know, do the job for you. I mean, like, if you want to go that route, do that route. But I like having full creative control and using like these NLEs. But yeah, just comment down below, you know, comment on my TikToks, my Instagram. I can reply with videos to those. So I'm going to reply to those with reels. And that, that's what I've been doing a lot recently on my Drawn Media, on my TikTok and my Instagram. And I also been uploading shorts onto here for like the shorter versions of these videos. So if you see it on your shorts feed you can just you know look at it that way so that means you do got to go follow all my social medias like right now all, all of them tiktok instagram twitter but yeah i hope this video helped out and if it didn't i'll just go fuck myself